Hey everybody, it is the final day of January, and it's your pal Day9 who's known to nail the intro on the first try every time. Oh, I had a very successful shave, only cut myself once, and you might be like, shouldn't you never cut yourself? And I'd go, that would be great. Ah, Today we're going to be playing Superland all day. Before I wanted to play the game, I wanted to do a little review of DK30 because week one is currently behind us. Week one of the four weeks. And <clears throat> as you know, one of the goals is for you to pick something that you've been maybe putting off or haven't had a good structured approach to and to get some progress done on that. Yeah. But one of the other big ones, one of the things that I want to talk about today is um, the idea of being a producer for yourself. If I want to try to go to the gym six days a week and I only went three days a week, maybe it's not that I failed because I didn't go six times. Maybe it's that I just overestimated and I should plan on three times a week. Maybe if you thought you could write 10,000 words on your story in a week and you only wrote 7,000, adjust your future self-planning accordingly. So I want to talk a little bit about what I was doing uh, because I, I think a lot about planning uh, uh, with all my own projects and whatnot. Um, load myself. There we go. So I want to talk about what I did on this very first week uh, with my prototype and give you some encouragement about your week one. So like I, I am really interested in the following. I'm interested in trying to habitize my coding more. And I like to think of this as I tend to do binge coding sessions, but I want to be someone that codes four to six days a week a little bit, kind of like someone who goes to the gym four or six days a week. Um, and so I, I played Slate Aspire and I had some idea about robot combat where you build robots and you have them fight against each other. And I want to just do a tiny little slice of work on that. But what work do I do? Something that works really well for me, actually let me rephrase it, something that has always been horrible for me is if I sit down to do work on something creative and I just don't have any plan. I have no idea where I'm going to. Uh, so what I did is I have a, a write-up where I'm going to be, uh, where I, I've talked much more extensively about this, but um, to summarize some of it, I like to have a rough idea of all the systems that are going to be in some little game I'm working on. And then I kind of like to rank them in order. And the example I'll use is if you have a really cool system where you give your character a bunch of different spells, and you use those spells to go into combat. If the combat sucks, it doesn't really matter how cool your spell loadout shit is. Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't fucking really matter. So what I try to do with all the little elements of the game is I try to say, here's the one that if it doesn't work, nothing else matters. And above that can sit this. And if that sucks, then everything else doesn't matter. So for instance, um, I wanted to have a sense of, in my little vague robot combat game, because again, I just really like playing Slay the Spire. <laughs> As you saw me fucking fiending like crazy. I really enjoyed playing Slay the Spire. Um, they have a whole bunch of cool cards, but you know what is the thing that forces you to make cool decisions with those cards? The fact that your health stays from round to round, and the fact that the enemies are always attacking you and growing in power. It really makes you start to make tough choices. If your health completely replenished after every fight, all defensive cards would not matter in Slay the Spire. You see what I mean? So I'm trying to think, like, what would force my little robots to fight against enemy little robots? Okay, what's a single bout of robot combat look like? What are other systems I can add upon that to enrich what's going on? And upon uh, sort of just thinking about this sum, I finally made myself feel comfortable enough to just start fiddling around with the robot combat. And that's what I have planned out for this week. Um, I'm just going to be doing something incredibly basic, just setting up my Unity project making sure the pathfinding works, making sure the robot combat works at all, getting some UI for health, you know, just like fucking really simple stuff. And at the end of that second week, I'm going to reevaluate. And I want to stress that um, my goal with this, the goal that I'm aware of, is just want to habitize coding four to six days a week. That's going to be my big goal. Not necessarily to do anything significant with this. I'm just making something that is recently filling me with excitement and joy because boy would it be a horrible way to habitize coding by doing shit that's boring. <laughs> so, um, 
I am doing a week and then I reevaluate. I did my reevaluation Friday morning today. I might do it Saturday morning next week. But after each week, I'm doing a little reevaluation thing. So I want to uh, also say to any of you, if you haven't gotten started on your 30 day projects, feel free to use this website, dk30.day9.tv, to just create a little tracking. Or feel free not to, to use just a notepad and start late. Totally fine. If any of you are struggling or are falling behind, it might be useful to take time every single week and just reevaluate the next week of plan and keep adjusting and keep adjusting. And with that in mind, uh, that's all I'm going to talk about for week one. 